From the Lancer Aquatic Center in Riverside, California Baptist is back home for a Golden Coast Conference game against the Santa Clara Broncos. Good afternoon, everyone. Delighted to have you along today. I'm Travis Van Ode. CBU 2-2 two and two in GCC play, tied for fourth place. Meanwhile, Santa Clara is 1-3. They're tied for six. Let's go over these starting lineups. First of all, the goalies for the Lancers, of course, it's Tiana Schneider. Her 23rd start of the year, 10 and 11 record, 12.96 goals against average. And for Santa Clara, it's their number one as well, Liara Senadira. Senadira is a senior from San Anselmo. It's her 24th start of the year, 6 and 17 record, though, 12.74 goals against average. And the starters for the Lancers, Kaylee Carter, Celeste Almendares, Morgan Gates, Kyra Kahahavai, Delilah Moreno, and Adriana Wong for Santa Clara. L. Fredrickson, Kate Rodman, Maddie Clough, Megan Chambliss, Chloe Morrison, and Sydney McCabe. The opening sprint is won by Delilah Moreno, but then it's stolen by McCabe. So Moreno wins the sprint, 17 and 24 on the air, but then McCabe, who's the leading sprinter for Santa Clara, steals the ball, and Chloe Morrison's got it. She's guarded by Kahahavai, plays to Clough. Clough closed in on by Moreno. In ordinary foul, stays with Santa Clara. Clough plays to McCabe, the sophomore from Tustin, back to Clough. Clough shoots, stopped by Schneider. A big early save for Tiana Schneider. These are the top two saves goalies in the GCC. Nobody's made more saves than Schneider. 198 now, and Santa Clara's Senadira. She is second in the conference as the shot by Wong is stopped by Senadira. So Senadira equals Schneider's early save as Senadira now has 183 saves on the year. Second only to Schneider in the Golden Coast Conference. Clough plays it back out to McCabe, back to Clough. Clough plays across the pool, deflects off of the fingertips of Chambliss, an ordinary foul, stays with Santa Clara, just four seconds to shoot though for Chambliss. Wong closes in on her, but there's an exclusion on Morgan Gates. Santa Clara gets the first power play of the game. Clough up top for McCabe, Morrison to the side, played back to Clough. McCabe again, shoots, bar down. What a shot by Sydney McCabe. Her 21st goal of the year, and now she's got a three game goal streak. Shot it just high enough, over Schneider, then off of the crossbar. And it is a power play goal for Santa Clara as well. Lancer's first possession, Kaylee Carter. Plays to Moreno, one touch back to Carter. Carter dumps into two meter, and Kahahavai shot goes bar down. Kyra Kahahavai answers with a bar down goal of her own. Well that goal comes just 17 seconds later. Kahahavai's 21st of the year as well, just like McCabe. Two really good shots so far. Senadira has the ball. Senadira is eighth in the GCC in goals against average. Schneider is 10th. Those are actually not too good of places to be in the eight-team GCC. But again, both goalies have racked up the saves as Morrison's shot goes in. Chloe Morrison up top. She picks up her 20th goal of the year. And Santa Clara's got the lead back. Well, that goal comes just 17 seconds later as well. well three goals within a span of about 34 seconds. Ordinary foul on Santa Clara. Ball played to Moreno. She's double teamed and gives it up to Senadira. Good two meter defense there for Santa Clara. And we have a foul on Santa Clara. Moreno picks up the ball. 
plays it out to Gates. Gates to Wong. Celeste Almendarez draws an ordinary foul. Almendarez up top for Wong, plays to Carter. Carter all the way across for Gates, shoots and scores. Morgan Gates ties up the game again. That's Gates' 10th goal of the year. So an offensive start between CBU and Santa Clara. The Lancers are four and two against Santa Clara in the quote D1 era, close quote, as Kahahavai, Gates, and Carter come out of the pool. Three new players for CBU. The Lancers are 15 and nine overall against Santa Clara all time. Annika Burks plays it across, swimming to it, Rodman. She's a junior from Newport Beach. Rodman again, plays to Burks, dumps it into two meter. There are two Lancers there. And Devin Ruffer, who's fresh in the game, steals the ball, gives to Schneider. Good two meter defense by the Lancers that time. The last time these two teams played was the seventh place game last year, the GCC tournament. Ruffer, double teamed, plays to Madison Haworth. Haworth, the lob shot over the cage. The Lancers won that game 12-7. However, Santa Clara had won the last two games between these two teams. On April 13th at Santa Clara, the Broncos won 12-11. And then last year, or two years ago, I should say, was the last time Santa Clara came here on March 25th, 2022. The Lancers lost that game here 9-8 in exclusion. It's on Haworth. Santa Clara's second power play. They scored on their first. Morrison plays to McCabe across for Francesca Moynihan. McCabe shoots, stopped by Schneider. And that was actually Morrison that took the shot. Beg your pardon. The Lancers kill it off. Really good save there by Tiana. Well, the Lancers, a good end of the year last year. They did not win a single conference game in the regular season. This year, two and two so far. It's the Lancers' best start in GCC play since 2018. A skip shot goes over the cage from Ruffer. The Lancers trying to climb the GCC standings. Ball play to Moynihan. She kicked off a of Haworth. Haworth was not happy with it. And an ordinary foul as Rodman plays it out. McCabe to Morrison. Morrison to Burks. Burks plays it all the way across and a foul on Santa Clara, CBU ball. I remember that game two years ago on March 25th, I called it. It was an extremely hot day here in Riverside. The Lancers just came up short, 9-8. Haworth plays it across for Ruffer. Short pass, and it's dumped into Aubrey Newton. Her shot stopped by Senadira. Oh, Newton, the Lancers, two meter, robbed, but then a foul, middle pool by Santa Clara. The Lancers have the ball back. Emily Hutton plays to Ruffer. Back to Hutton. Ruffer, she's got some open water. Plays to Haworth, now she's open, shoots, and it's fought off by Senadira. What a save by Liara Senadira. Senadira has been the number one keeper for Santa Clara for years now. One Bronco lost her cap, she gets it back. That is Morrison, who's got her cap back. A fresh 30 for CBU. But the Lancers so far have beaten Azusa Pacific 12-11 in GCC play. They lost to Fresno State 20-4. They beat Concordia Irvine 12-11 and lost their last game at Pacific last week, 14-11. Meanwhile, Santa Clara, they beat Concordia Irvine 9-8, but they've lost three straight in the GCC. To LMU 21-8, Pacific 12-6, and APU 14-6 as the Lancers turn it over on an offensive foul. Possible breakaway for Rodman. Rodman swims in, but she's caught. However, 
It's an ordinary foul on CBU. But the Lancer bench loves it. Now an exclusion on the Lancers. Emily Hutton heads off and a timeout called by Santa Clara looks like. Santa Clara's third power play. They're one for two. It is a full timeout for Santa Clara. A really good start between CBU and Santa Clara. But the Lancers have beaten APU, whereas Santa Clara lost to them. Both teams have beaten Concordia, Irvine. The GCC standings coming into today. Number six team in the country, LMU, who we'll see here tomorrow. They are 5-0. and No surprise in first place. In second place, number eight, Fresno State. They're 3-1. and And then number 19, ranked Pacific, is 3-2 and in third place. The Lancers are tied with APU for fourth place, both 2-2. Two and two. In sixth place is number 21 ranked San Diego State. They're just one and three, interestingly, but they are still nationally ranked. They're tied with Santa Clara at one and three. And then Concordia Irvine's in eighth place. They are 0 and four. All eight teams make the GCC tournament, which Santa Clara is hosting this year from April 26th to the 28th. It's just a matter of where you're seated. Of course, you wanna be uh, as highly ranked as possible. Everyone wants to avoid LMU, certainly. They are a very strong club. So again, a full timeout for Santa Clara, and they've got the power play. It's their third. Clough back up top for McCabe, back to Clough. Plays to Morrison this time. Clough again into two-meter catch and shoot and a goal. L. Fredrickson, their leading goal scorer, pots it. And it's 3-2 Santa Clara. Goal comes at 2.07. Fredrickson, her team leading 35th goal of the year. She's only played 20 games, including today. That just goes to show how good of a season Fredrickson has had. Santa Clara, two for three on the power play. The teams continue to trade goals. Santa Clara struck first. The Lancers need to be a little bit better on their exclusions, already three. And now an exclusion on Santa Clara. That one's on Morrison, the Lancers first power play. Grace Bergquist to Carter, to the side. A catch and shoot for Almendares, what a save by Senadira. Ball deflects off at the fingertips of Moreno, two seconds. Burquist back to Moreno. Santa Clara back to full strength as Burks is in, but the shot by Carter is a goal. It's an even strength goal, but the Lancers don't care. They tie it again at 132. Carter's 14th of the year. And still the team's trading goals. Thought this would be an evenly matched game. So far it has been. Good pressure by Bergquist. Ball play to an open patch of water. Clough swims to it, draws an ordinary foul. Clough to the middle of the pool. Malaya right, a lob pass. Out of the reach of her intended target, Schneider picks up the ball and a foul on Santa Clara. But the Lancers survive a chance to get their first lead here. Moreno coming off of three straight multi-goal games, but the Lancers turn it over this time. They were hoping for Kahahavai. Burks and Cedadira were both there. Clough, the senior from La Jolla. There's a handful of Southern California natives for Santa Clara. Clough plays it across. Played back to Clough. Clough's got a little bit of open water. Now Moreno swims to her. A lob pass, an ordinary foul on CBU. McCabe, back to Clough. Moreno again closes in on her. And Clough's shot goes off of the post. Had just two seconds on the shot clock. 
Not a high percentage shot there, obviously. And Schneider was there too. But the Lancers come up with a stop. 12 seconds to play. Schneider, she can score. Of course, she's got two on the ear. We'll see if she does take the shot. Five seconds. She plays it off to Bergquist. Her shot stopped by Senadira. And a rebound. Kahahavai runs out of time. A very strong opening quarter. 3-3 back in a moment. Well, welcome back to the Lancer Aquatic Center in Riverside. Once again, I'm Travis Van Ody. Good game so far between CBU and Santa Clara, 3-3. The teams have traded goals. Sydney McCabe opened the scoring on the power play, then Kyra Kahahavai tied it. Santa Clara retook the lead on a goal by Chloe Morrison, and then Morgan Gates made it 2-2. Then it was L. Fredrickson, the leading scorer for Santa Clara, scoring on the power play again to make it 3-2, but then Kaylee Carter, with 1.32 to go, ties the game at three. CBU 0 for 1 on the power play. Santa Clara 2 for 3. The shots are 10-6 in favor of the Lancers. Second sprint of the day. This time it's won by McCabe. McCabe is third in the GCCU in sprint percentage and sprints won. She lost the first one, but picks up her 39th sprint win of the season there and 63 opportunities. The top three in the GCC in sprinting is Sydney McCabe as she beats Julia Almendarez that time. Well, Santa Clara looks for the lead back. Lob pass to Fredrickson. She's caught from behind, and Schneider's got the ball. Actually, that was Evelyn McLaughlin, beg your pardon, who had the opportunity. Carter, as the sun comes out a little bit in Riverside, temperature in the mid-60s. Very nice day for some water polo. Two game homestand for CBU, they'll play LMU tomorrow. The Lancers are gonna wanna win today. LMU by far the number one team in the GCC. Dora Lahosky plays to two meter and Celeste Almendarez scores. And the Lancers do have their first lead at 7.06. Nice play by the Lancers to work it into two meter. Almendares, her 30th goal of the year. 
unfortunately had her five game goal streak snapped against Pacific, but now has goals in six of her last seven games. McLaughlin. Plays to the middle of the pool. Morrison swims to it. Morrison in a two meter, but a foul away from the ball. Tugging call on Burks and the Lancers have it. But now CBU turns it over. This is gonna be a good opportunity for Santa Clara. The ball right in front of the cage. Chambliss. Has to pass it, finds Burks. Burks plays to two meter, pass a little too high, but it's a five meter. Not the best pass, but it works out for Santa Clara. They get a penalty throw. First penalty throw of the day. It's going to be Sydney McCabe, the sophomore from Tustin. The foul is on Newton. That's her first. Nobody has more than one. McCabe, who already has a goal today on the power play, shoots, skip, stopped by Schneider. The Lancer bench erupts. Well, remember that one if this ball game stays close. What a save by Tiana Schneider. Lahosky's got the ball, fakes a shot. Sidearm pass. Newton's shot goes wide of the cage, but it did deflect. Still answer ball. A moment of levity as the new ball thrown in, hit the lane line. Well, some of the fans laughing about that. Santa Clara just 6 and 17 overall. They're just 5 and 14 in non-conference play. The Lancers 10 and 15. They are 8 and 13 in non-conference play. Ball played to Newton. She's double teamed and it's stolen by Chambliss. Santa Clara comes up with a big save. The Lancers now 4 and 3 here at home. They lost their last game here of course to Brown. Santa Clara though just 1 and 5 in true road games. Their only win of the season on the road was their first game of the year against Cal State Monterey Bay in Seaside. Santa Clara has lost five straight road games since an exclusion on the Lancers. It's on Lahosky. Santa Clara's fourth power play, they're two for three. Chance to tie the game. McLaughlin's got the ball, plays to Chambliss. All the way across the pool, off of the fingertips of Burks. Five seconds to go on the power play. Chambliss up top, quickly played to McLaughlin. Her shot is blocked by Julia Almendarez. Santa Clara now two for four on the power play. It's been a tough go for Santa Clara on the road after winning their first game of the season at Cal State Monterey Bay, a Division II school, of course. They have lost five straight of their true road games. But a big chance here. Santa Clara is going down to play San Diego State tomorrow. Lob shot goes in. Lancers goal, number five, Emily Hutton. Hutton gets the goal. Their team leading 51st of the year. Hutton is sixth in the GCC in goals. The Lancers have scored three straight. And it's the first two goal lead of the game for either team. But what a brilliant season it's been for Hutton. She has scored back-to-back -back hat tricks. Well, after a slow start, a little bit for CBU, they've taken over this game. Santa Clara looks for a response, Malaya Wright. Hutton also eighth in the GCC in points. One of the best offensive players in the conference, of course, Emily Hutton. Burks plays back to the wing. Burks again. 
Julia Almendares closes in on her. Ball played to Clough, ordinary foul. Seven seconds to shoot, played into two meter. And an exclusion on the Lancers. This one's on Carter. Santa Clara's fifth power play, they're two for four. Ordinary foul on CBU. Clough, up top Chambliss, all the way across. And Rodman's shot blocked. Picked up by Celeste Almendares. The Lancers have another kill. Been very strong on the PK. Meanwhile, Santa Clara has still only taken one exclusion. Kaylee Carter, who has the ball. Julia Almendares guarded by Rodman. Gates dumps it into two meter. And an exclusion on Santa Clara this time. Emily Lopez plays it out. Just the Lancers' second power play. They came up empty on their first, but scored right after it. Carter. Julie Almendares to the side. Nice passing by the Lancers. Lopez is robbed, though, by Senadira. And Amila Ursig back in the game. Burks was whistled on the exclusion. And now Ursig replaces her, and she's got the ball. Ursig across the pool. Malaya right, but an offensive foul on Santa Clara. Hutton swims the other way. Just potted her 51st of the year. Hutton drops it back for Julia Almendares. Nice pass to Moreno. She's got a bit of open water. Moreno draws an ordinary foul. Ball played to Carter. Carter to Julie Almendar as she is wide open. Plays to Gates, though. Skip shot stop by Senadira. Aliara Senadira. We remember her as a very strong keeper, and she's been very good so far today. No surprise for Santa Clara. Maddie Clough guarded by Moreno. An ordinary foul. Still plenty of time for the Broncos. Ursig, the sophomore from San Diego. And it's turned over to Celeste Almendares. And an exclusion as well. And a timeout called by Julie Snodgrass. It's the Lancers' first timeout of the game. So a good timeout called by Snodgrass as the Lancers want to set something up here. The exclusion is on Mila Ursig. It'll be the Lancers' third power play coming up. Nice job, though, by Moreno moments ago to close in on that Bronco to force the turnover. And that's what ultimately ends up giving the Lancers a power play. Well, that should not be forgotten. Delilah Moreno, strong swimming to steal that ball. But since we last saw the Lancers, that same day they played Brown here, they went to Cal State Fullerton, and they beat the Titans 9-8, and then... Their last game was at Pacific last week, and they lost 14-11. Well, it's just been two games on the road for the Lancers, but now back home in the friendly confines of the Lancer Aquatic Center. Just three games left in the regular season for both CBU and Santa Clara. As we mentioned, LMU is going to be here tomorrow. That'll be the Lancers' toughest test by far in the GCC. Then they go to San, or they host San Diego State Baker Park. That'll be Senior Day for the Lancers next Saturday, as the Aztecs are in town. Meanwhile, Santa Clara, as we mentioned, they go to San Diego State tomorrow, and then they're at Fresno State next Saturday. They'll also play Fresno Pacific, a non-conference game. That'll be their final regular season game of the season. But for Santa Clara, they're trying to avoid that seven spot. If they can help it, they'll get the better matchup. Right now it would be Pacific in the three spot as compared to Fresno State in the two spot. Power play for the Lancers, Lahosky to Moreno. Lahosky. Carter to the side. Moreno shoots and scores. What a pass across by Gates. And Moreno pots it on the side of the cage. That is a well-earned goal, as we just talked about. Moreno basically was responsible for drawing that power play, forcing the turnover. And Moreno 
Gets her 23rd goal of the year. But the Lancers have scored four straight now. So they lead it by three. It is a power play goal. The Lancers first of the day. They're one for three on the man advantage. Clough's pass deflects off of Kahahabai, and she picks up the loose ball. Two straight steals by the Lancers. First, Celeste Almendarez, and now Kahahabai. A one-on-one -on -one situation. Lahoski needs some help now. Plays to Gates. The skyhook. Dangerous pass. Works out to Carter, though, eventually. Her shot goes in. Kaylee Carter. But first of all, it was Kyra Kahahabai who kept possession for the Lancers and allowed Carter to score there. But the Lancers doing the little things right here in the second quarter. That's Carter's second of the game, 15th of the year. Well, what a quarter for CBU. They have scored all four goals. Santa Clara desperately needs a response. Morrison, guarded by Reese Berenger. Morrison now at center pool. Drifts forward. Morrison turns it over to Carter and a foul on Santa Clara. Three straight possessions for the Broncos where they've turned it over. Schneider, the long lob pass to Lahoski, ordinary foul on Santa Clara. Approaching the one minute mark of the first half, Moreno. Plays to two meter, Kahahavai, but a foul, a tug on Kyra, Santa Clara ball. Senadira to McCabe, plays further. Rodman draws an ordinary foul, back to McCabe. McCabe to Moynihan, back up top Morrison. Lobs into two meter. Fredrickson draws an exclusion. That one's on Behringer. Santa Clara's sixth power play there, just two for five, and a timeout called by the Broncos. Thirty-second timeout for Santa Clara. They have two full timeouts left as the head coach for Santa Clara, Claire Linney, in her third year. She's a former player for Santa Clara. Makes a couple of changes. She puts in Chambliss. Huge power play for Santa Clara. They need a goal here. Trailing by four now. Senadira to McCabe. Now Clough. McCabe, Clough. They love to work the right side on the power play. Played all the way across for Rodman, back to Clough. And an exclusion on CBU. The shot is blocked by Lahoski, and the Lancers have it. It looks like Delilah Moreno was called on that exclusion. Under 10 to play. The Lancers bring up Schneider, and she's got the ball. Schneider's going to have to take the shot this time. Stopped by Senadira at the buzzer. So that was on Moreno. What a second quarter for the Lancers. They score all four goals, and they have a four-goal lead as we're at halftime.
Welcome back to the Lancer Aquatics Center in Riverside. I'm Travis Van Ode. Start of the third quarter, California Baptist seven, Santa Clara three. It was an even first quarter. The teams traded goals as Sydney McCabe opened the scoring on the power play, her 21st of the year. Kyra Kahahava answered back at even strength to make it 1-1, her 21st. Then it was Chloe Morrison picking up her 20th to make it 2-1 Santa Clara. Then it was Morgan Gates potting her 10th of the year for the Lancers, tied the game at two. Al Fredrickson, their leading scorer, picked up her 35th of the year, just her 20th game on the power play to make it 3-2. But then Kaylee Carter scored her 14th to make it 3-3. The Lancers, though, scored all four goals in the second quarter. Celeste Almendares, her 30th. Emily Hutton's team leading 51st. Then Delilah Moreno on the power play, her 23rd. Carter, her second of the game, 15th of the year, makes it 7-3. Shots are 18-10 in favor of CBU. Lancers had eight in the second quarter. Santa Clara only had four. The Lancers are one for three on the power play. Santa Clara is two for seven. They had four power plays in the second quarter and a penalty throw, but didn't score on any of them. Now Santa Clara certainly had their chances, but the Lancers held serve. Well, CBU scored on half of their shots in that second quarter as well. Sprint one this time by Adriana Wong. But then the ball's picked up by Santa Clara. Well, that's the second time, the first quarter. This happened as well where the Lancers got to the ball first, but Santa Clara was able to pick it up and ultimately win the sprint. Well, Santa Clara has won two of three, technically. Sydney McCabe dumps it into two meter. Lancers double team, an ordinary foul on Fredrickson. Nine seconds to shoot. Fredrickson to Chambliss. Back up top. Clough returns it to Fredrickson. Guarded by Carter. And an exclusion now on Carter. That's her second. She's the first player in the game with more than one foul. A Santa Clara, another power play. They need to score. Morrison, short pass. Ball played across for Rodman. Rodman back across for Clough. McCabe shoots, and it's blocked by the defenseman first. That was Kahahavai. And once again, the Lancers come up with a kill. Santa Clara, they started two for three on the power play. They are 0 for their last five. Gates plays to Wong, and exclusion on Santa Clara this time, and a... Timeout, I think, called or no? Now we play on a Lancer power play. It's their fourth, they're one for three. Gates plays to Kahahavai, deflects it on, and Senadira makes the save. Now the exclusion was on Morrison, her second. But Santa Clara comes up with a needed kill. Burks, who replaces her, has the ball. Burks plays across for Chambliss. And an ordinary foul on CBU. Eight seconds to shoot for Rodman. Back-to-back -back two goal games for Rodman, but she has so far not gotten a goal today. Long lob by McCabe, stopped by Schneider. That was not a bad shot. Pretty good save by Schneider. And an exclusion on Santa Clara. Looks to be on Rodman. Back-to-back -back power plays for the Lancers. They're one for four. It is on Rodman. Wong's got the ball. Wong, short pass to Gates. Up top, Carter looking for the hat trick. Dishes off this time. Carter again, deflects off of her fingertips. Loose ball and a foul on CBU. Another kill for Santa Clara. The Lancers now one for five on the power play. Been a good PK day for both teams. We've had a combined 14 power plays, just three power play goals. And Santa Clara commits an offensive foul. An exclusion, another Lancer power play. Clough heads off, that's her first exclusion. Moreno shoots and scores. Moreno quickly on the power play, makes it 
Uh, two watts, nothing. Uh, two watts. Yo, nothing. Two watts not playing. No, two watts has changed to 21. Right, so 21. Yeah, number one. one. Oh, They're checking the exclusion one. number on yeah. Annika Burks. Wait, so, so, hold on. There's no two watts playing. But a quick strike there by the Lancers. That's now six straight goals by CBU. No, I get that. But on the side, we have a two that has an exclusion. So who is that on? The dark has two. So before the game, Annika Burks, who's normally number two, changed her cap to 21. She does have one exclusion. So they're just double checking how many exclusions Burks has. So on the exclusion board, seems as if they put one of Kaylee Carter's exclusions on Santa Clara's side, who would be Annika Burks. Now, Kaylee Carter does have two. Yeah, Kaylee Carter has two for the Lancers, and Chloe Morrison now has two for Santa Clara. So everything's good to go. Again, the Lancers coming off a power play goal from Moreno. They have now scored six straight goals in this game to go from being down 3-2 to up 8-3. Chambliss, guarded by Moreno. Two Lancers have two goals, Moreno and Carter. Nice pass by McCabe to two meter. The Lancers swarm and they force a turnover. Terrific defensive work by Wong in particular, steals the ball from Libby Slater. And the Lancers have it. Been impressed with CBU's defensive game in the last two quarters. Moreno to Celeste Almendarez. Wong again, short pass to Gates. Gates to Wong. Dishes off Moreno, shoots off of the post. She was that close to a hat trick. Moreno has also scored two of the Lancers' last three goals. McCabe, lob pass to Burks, an ordinary foul on CBU. Burks, a bit of space now. Plays it across for Chambliss. Chambliss dumps it into two meter, but a foul on Santa Clara. It looked like Slater committed the foul as she got the ball. A tough break for Santa Clara as once again, the sun goes behind the clouds. Again, temperature in the mid-60s today, much, much cooler than yesterday. It was almost 90 degrees in Riverside yesterday. So we're all thankful that it's a lot cooler. Celeste Almendarez, ball under, and Santa Clara has possession. Again, this is pretty much a must-win for CBU because LMU's here tomorrow. That's going to be... A tough test. The Lancers are two and two, tied for fourth place in the 18 GCC along with APU. Santa Clara one and three, tied for sixth place, along with San Diego State as the shot goes over the cage. But the Lancers really would do themselves a huge favor to win this game. Timeout called by CBU. It's a full timeout. The Lancers have one full timeout and their 30-second timeout left. Santa Clara has two full timeouts left. 3.32, take that 3.22 to go in the third quarter. The Lancers in full control, but want to talk it over. Again, Santa Clara hosts the GCC tournament coming up on April 26th through the 28th. As Fresno State has won two of the last three. GCC titles. Don't think they won it last year, though, if memory serves. 
The Lancers, uh, tough season last year. They went 0-8, or 0-7, should say, in the regular season in GCC play, then lost their opening game, but then won the seventh place game against Santa Clara, so it was a, a nice end of the year. Lancers doing much better so far this year, as this is tied for their best start since 2018 in GCC play at two and two. Timeout over. Schneider to Hutton. She's got one goal today. Ball played back to Hutton. Again, Bergquist with it to Hutton. They're trying to open up a shooting lane. Hutton met and draws an ordinary foul. That was Clough that ran into her. Hutton with seven to shoot, dumps it into two meter. What a goal by Reese Berenger. The sidearm heave past Senadira. That's now seven straight goals for the Lancers. Berenger's 10th goal of the year. That's just been the good combination for CBU of good defensive work, both at even strength and on the power play. And they've just been able to hit their shots. Oh, what a change in the complexion of this game as Morrison's shot is stopped by Schneider. Fresh 30 for Santa Clara. McLaughlin plays to Ursig. Rodman, the short pass to Clough. And Fredrickson's shot is stopped by Schneider. It's actually Lancer ball. Though it was blocked before it got to Schneider. Another block by the Lancers defense. Burquist guarded by Ursig. Wide open, rougher. Shoots over the cage. That was a good look for the Lancers. But rougher a little too high. Approaching the two minute mark of the third quarter. Mila Ursig again. Clough. Clough, the short pass as the wind kicks up in Riverside, an exclusion on the Lancers. As Ruffer heads off, that's her first. Santa Clara's ninth power play of the game. They're two for eight. And they score. Well, finally, they break the Lancers straight, Kate Rodman. Rodman's 19th goal of the year. As we mentioned, back-to-back -back two goal games for Rodman. Santa Clara now three for nine on the power play. Hutton. Ordinary foul on Santa Clara. Bergquist's got the ball. Behringer to Ruffer. A couple of short passes by the Lancers. Haworth back to Hutton. Ten to shoot. Hutton guarded by McCabe. Bergquist shoots off of the fingertips of Senadira. Lancer ball. Good save again by Liara Senadira. But more importantly for the Lancers, they get a fresh shot clock. That's the most important thing was the Lancers lead it by five. Clough to Hutton. Strong pass. Bergquist again. Shoots off of the post. And you could tell she was going to take that shot as she egg beat it up a little bit. McCabe. Santa Clara, this is a big possession. They can get it to within four. Certainly manageable. Fredrickson 
Draws an ordinary foul. And now it's Lancer ball. Fredrickson didn't realize it was an ordinary foul. Shot clock turned off. 20 seconds to play. Once again, Schneider brings the ball up the pool. Schneider took a shot to end the first half. Five seconds for Tiana. Loses the ball. Now one. Shoots off at a crossbar. But still got a pretty good shot. Well, Schneider a little frustrated at herself as she lost that ball. But we're through three. The Lancers up five back in a moment. Fourth quarter here in Riverside. I'm Travis Van Noti. California Baptist nine, Santa Clara four. Well, the team's treated goals in the first. Santa Clara scored first. It was 3-3 after one. The Lancers scored all four goals in the second quarter. They led 7-3 at halftime. The Lancers then scored two more goals in the third quarter to make it seven goals in a row. It was 9-3 the Lancers led before Kate Rodman scored on the power play to finally snap that streak. Sprint is won again by McCabe. Her 40th of the year, top three in the GCC in sprints one. Shots are 27-15 in favor of the Lancers in the third quarter, 9-5 in favor of CBU, an early exclusion on the Lancers. CBU is two for six on the power play. Now Santa Clara gets their 10th power play. They're three for nine. Moreno is off, that's her second exclusion. Carter also has two for the Lancers. Rodman, who just scored, plays to McCabe, back across, shot off at a crossbar. McCabe to Rodman again, power plays over. Rodman dishes off, ball play to Fredrickson, saves Schneider. The Lancers have held L. Fredrickson in check. She's only scored one goal today. A foul on Santa Clara. Actually on the Lancers, beg your pardon. Now a two on O down low. Haworth disrupts McCabe. Another ordinary foul on CBU. And another whistle. What defensive work by Madison Haworth is. There was an offensive foul on CBU, a two on O practically down low for Santa Clara, but they do not get a shot. And now Santa Clara commits an offensive foul, as do the Lancers. Chaos here in Riverside as the goal scored by Megan Chambliss. Back and forth we go in the first minute of the fourth quarter. Santa Clara has scored two straight, now it's 9-5 all of a sudden. Chambliss's 13th goal of the year. Well, 
CBU's got to keep going here. This is still a ball game. Santa Clara has time to come back. Lahoski plays to Naya Bumbaka. Bumbaka defended well by McCabe. Lahoski plays to two meter. Good steal by Rodman. And now an exclusion as there was a retaliatory shove. There could be more supplemental discipline as a result. Santa Clara calls timeout. Okaha Havai was frustrated. She shoved that Bronco in retaliation. That's Kaha Havai's first exclusion. And another power play for Santa Clara. Well, it doesn't look like it's a yellow card or anything like that, just a normal exclusion on Kaha Havai. This is Santa Clara's 11th power play. They're three for 10. If they do ultimately end up coming up short today, they could point to the power play as one of the areas where they needed to be better. So the Lancers have obviously committed tons of exclusions. But again, this ball game's not over. A Santa Clara can score here. Just a three goal game. And the way they've been able to draw exclusions, they would certainly be in it. Santa Clara has one full timeout left. That's it. The Lancers have one full and, and their 32nd to use. As Julie Snodgrass has a chat with the ref just on the bottom left of your screen. I hope you're enjoying it on YouTube. CBU against Santa Clara. Key power play for the Broncos. Morrison plays to the far side of the pool. McCabe finds Rodman. Rodman's been good today. Clough to Morrison, McCabe to Clough. Power plays over, Rodman shoots, deflects off of the defenseman, Lohoski, it goes wide. CBU again comes up with a PK. Santa Clara now just three for 11 and a foul on the Lancers. Kate Rodman's got the ball back. Rodman. An area pass, ordinary foul on CBU. Maddie Clough, back up top Morrison into two meter. Fredrickson, the sidearm shot stopped by Schneider. An important save for Tiana Schneider. Fredrickson is starting to become more visible now for Santa Clara. Lahoski guarded by Rodman, plays it ahead to Hutton. Three on three for the Lancers. Short pass, Kahahavai. Dumps it home. Kyra Kahahavai, a big goal for CBU at 535. Kahahavai's second of the game, 22nd of the year. So the Lancers complete the PK. They withstand a Santa Clara surge and they get a big time goal there from Kyra Kahahavai. It's now three Lancers with two goals. Carter and Moreno, the other two. Malaya Wright has the ball. Now Santa Clara's got to press a little bit, I think. Down five with 5.25 to go. Morrison. And exclusion on CBU. It's on Wong, that's her first. Another power play for Santa Clara. Rodman to Chambliss. Morrison. Clough to Rodman, back to Clough. Power plays over. Chambliss shoots, it's blocked, and Carter comes up with a loose ball. Plays to Wong. Another PK for CBU. It's been unbelievable. How good the Lancers have been. A woman down, and now an exclusion on Santa Clara. Rodman, the guilty party, her second. The Lancers' seventh power play, they're two for six, their first of the quarter. Carter looks for the hat trick. 
to Wong. Hutton. Power plays over. Carter with five to shoot. Hutton shoots off of the fingertips of Senadira. Actually, I think it just went wide. It is Santa Clara ball. Had to be. If it would have deflected off of Senadira, it would have stayed with CBU. Clough wide open. Ball deflects, and it's picked up by the player that deflected it, Celeste Almendarez. Another steal for CBU. They have really owned the steals today. Wong closed in on by Chambliss. Five seconds to shoot for Wong. Place to Hutton. Wasn't quite expecting that pass. Plays all the way across and a shot clock violation. Timeout called by Santa Clara. That's their last. Timeout Of course, at this point of the game, the Lancers just want to run down that shot clock. 3.25 to go. CBU leads it by five. Still possible for Santa Clara, but they pretty much need to be perfect the rest of this game. But the Lancers just been the better team for a majority of this game. First quarter was 50-50, but starting with the second quarter, this has been the Lancers game. CBU 325 away from moving to 3-2 in the Golden Coast Conference. And remember, they did beat Azusa Pacific, so they have that tiebreaker over the Cougars. So if they do end up being tied, the Lancers will be the higher seed. Santa Clara, 1-3. After beating Concordia Irvine, who was 0-4 in last place in the GCC, they've lost their last three games in conference, tied for sixth place along with San Diego State. That'll be a big game tomorrow at San Diego State as Santa Clara will try and get a little bit ahead of the Aztecs. I don't know San Diego State's schedule so far in conference. They are just one and three, but nationally ranked. So I would assume that they have played the better teams in the GCC so far, but don't know that for sure. Certainly surprising that San Diego State is this low in the standings. Aliara Senadira plays to right. Again, Santa Clara's got to go here. Of course, easier said than done. Right, guarded by Kahahavai. Ordinary foul on Kyra. And now an exclusion. Wong is called for the tug. That's her second exclusion. The 12th power play of the game. Actually 13th for Santa Clara. And a short-lived power play this time. Another kill for the Lancers. Just 250 remaining. Haworth has the ball. Now remember, Santa Clara started two for three today on the power play. Hutton is wide open, but she is stopped by Senadira. Try the lob shot. Liara Senadira read it perfectly. Mila Ursig plays all the way across. Wright tracks it down. Clough to Ursig. And exclusion. This time it's on Haworth. That's her second exclusion. This is the fifth power play of the quarter for Santa Clara. And they're 14th of the game. Shots blocked. 
Power plays over. Another shot by Rodman off of the post. Clough then scores. Just too many shots that time in the Lancers. Maddie Clough. That's her first of the day, 18th of the year. And against an even strength goal. But at this point, 1.49 to go. The Lancers lead up by four. As long as they take care of the ball, they should be fine as McCabe comes out of the pool. Bergquist to Hutton, again wide open. Hutton to Bergquist as the Lancers trying to milk the clock. Kahahavai's shot stopped by Senadira. Ball out. And it's actually Santa Clara ball. Well, Senadira didn't touch it. Again, seems like on that near post. Claire Linney wants Santa Clara to hurry. Ursig plays to Moynihan. That's twice where I thought that Senadira got a piece on the near post, but she didn't, and it's Santa Clara ball. Burks shoots, what a save by Schneider. That ball was labeled for the top left corner. Under a minute to go now. We'll see how the Lancers play it. Rodman swims back up the pool, as of course they need the ball, they need to force a turnover. Hutton, wide open. Two Broncos close in on her. Julia Almendares with two. Goes caddy corner, timeout was called by the Lancers. They're gonna put two more seconds on the game clock, 33 seconds to play. As Santa Clara brings in a bunch of new players, all their starters pretty much. That was the Lancers 30 second timeout. They have one full timeout left. Santa Clara can't stop the clock. As the sun again comes out in Riverside on this cool day. Again, there's two seconds on the shot clock. And they have to, again, change the game clock to 33 seconds. It's corrected. Well, that was a smart timeout by Julie Snodgrass. Two seconds to play. Julia Almandares dumps it into the corner. And now it's Santa Clara ball. The Lancers are all set up defensively on the other end of the pool. That's why she called timeout. McCabe shoots over the net. But now the shot clock turned off. Obviously, the Lancers can wait it out. Schneider met by Fredrickson, an ordinary foul. Nothing Santa Clara can do. Once again, Claire Linney, their head coach, calls for Fredrickson to swim to Schneider. She plays it off. So California Baptist, a strong second half of this game. They win it 10-6. The Lancers get two goals from Kaylee Carter, Delilah Moreno, and Kyra Kahahavai, Tiana Schneider was very good in the cage. The Lancers strong defensively as Santa Clara finishes just three for 14 on the power play. They come up short on a penalty throw as well. So CBU 
Now three and two in GCC play. Half game ahead of APU at the moment. Santa Clara drops to one and four. They're a half game back now of San Diego State for sixth place. We'll be back tomorrow at noon. LMU's in town. It's going to be a tough one, but the Lancers will give it a go. So join us then on YouTube. And thanks for joining us. I'm Travis Van Ode. Good day from Riverside.